the Christian church has failed to give understanding of the Bible. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rechavadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to do a quick video real quick based on a video that the brother Yasha Wamba from the Dallas camp did. I mean, if, if that was the brother who, who did this video, predominantly he uploads uh, videos to this channel. But um, yeah, the Christian church has failed to give us understanding of the Bible. And I just wanted to add, you know, my um my own statements to this video for lack of better terms and indeed you know <coughs> these Christian churches have failed to give us understanding of the Bible in the matter of fact in order to give understanding of the Bible you know the Lord has to give you the oil you know which the oil the oil allows you to what just the oil allows you to see in the dark you know, it allows you to see the dark sayings of the Holy Scriptures. And and not everybody, not everybody can understand the dark sayings of the Holy Scriptures. Okay, in order to understand the dark sayings of the Holy Scriptures, you know, the Lord has to give you the oil. Which which the oil is, is um is how you you understand the scriptures. Okay? Just like how an owl, an owl is able to see at night because of the oil inside of his eyes. The oil inside of his eyes illuminates his eyes, allowing, allowing him or her to see in the dark. So in order to see the dark sayings of the Holy Scriptures, the Lord has to give your, your spiritual eyes the oil. And not everybody has the oil. That's why whenever these pastors read books like John chapter 3 verse 16, they think that it's talking about the, every nation, you know, for God. So, you, you know, you know how they get down, you know, they get on that podium with a mic in their hand, wearing a punk ass suit, talking about for God so loved the world that whosoever shall put their trust in his beloved son shall be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Man, you know, like, and you don't even understand what that means. It's not talking about the whole world, man. And I believe that word, world there, goes back to the Greek word cosmos, which is talking about a particular group of people. Okay? It's talking about the world of Israel. The nation of Israel. Okay, as a matter of fact, let's prove that real quick. Okay. Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Okay. Hear this word that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai have spoken against you, O children of Israel. Okay, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Okay. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Now, the Lord is not, the Heavenly Father and His Son, they are not double-minded people. So, once the Lord puts His mind to something, He's not going to change His mind on it. <laughs> okay? If the Lord wants you to be destroyed, well, your destiny is that you're going to be destroyed. Malachi 3, verse 6, For I am the Lord, I change not. So, the Lord don't change. If the Lord has only known the nation of Israel, the nation of Israel are, are the only people that He'll, he'll only ever love. Okay, the reason why we're catching hell here in our captivity is because the Lord loves us. For who, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. And as a matter of fact, let's get that. Hebrews chapter, what is it? I think it's, I, I, I don't know the exact verse. Ooh, beautiful. The Lord led me right to it. The water you the water you shy. Let's start at verse 5. Um, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 5. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you. 
as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. So the Lord don't give a damn about the other nations. That's why he allowed these gooks to, to, to eat whatever they want, you know. They eat bats, live squid. They eat uh, um, sea roaches like um, shrimp, <coughs> you know, lobster. You know, they love eating crabs and clams, you know. They hunt down tigers. They cut off the rods of tigers j just to make it a delicacy. You know. You know they 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 they. Are, that's why the Lord allows these heathens to do whatever they want. And if you notice, these heathens do not get punished for 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 committing wickedness because the Lord don't care about them. But whenever we commit sin or wickedness, what happens? We get punished for it. Okay, we become victims of what police shootings. We, we, we might have some kind of disease from, from eating pork, unclean foods. You know, if we get tattoos, you know, our blood becomes poisoned. You know, the Lord puts us through hell whenever we commit sin. But that's only because the Lord loves us. Okay? And what, what, what did the Lord mean by he's only known uh, uh, us of all the other families of the earth? It means... It means that the Lord has only given the law, statutes, and commandments to the nation of Israel. Okay? The other nations, they're, they're not under the law, statutes, and commandments of the Holy Scriptures. But they will be in the kingdom after we put our foot up their asses for a thousand years uh, of slavery. Because we're going to put make these heathens as slaves, starting with the so-called white man, the so-called elites trickling down to the rest of their nation of people. Okay? We're going to put them in slavery, hardcore slavery, and then we're going to make them... We're going to make them keep our law, statutes, and commandments. <laughs> okay? So, um, but in, but on this side, they're not under the law, statutes, and, and commandments. We are. So, guess what? Whenever we commit sin, which, what is sin? Uh, according to the book of 1 John, the third chapter. Sin is transgression of the law. So, whenever we do something outside of the law, statutes, and commandments, which what? by nature make us profane what happens we're committing sin but our people are laden with their iniquities like it tells you um, in the book of Isaiah the first chapter I believe the uh, fourth verse our people are laden with their iniquity and that's why the Lord is putting our people through hell for whom the Lord loveth he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth if ye endure chastening, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all, all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. So right now, the two thirds of our people, they are not, you know, the sons of the heavenly father. But the point is, is that. You know, I mean, which uh, by nat by nature we are the sons of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We are Israelites, right? The word Israel, when you break it down in the Paleo Hebrew, Yah meaning He, Shar meaning Prince, and Allah meaning God. In which who's our God? Yahweh, who's our Lord and Savior? Yahweh Shai. So, so um, we we are we are princes, sons, Banyum of the Heavenly Father. But the point is, is that these pastors, they're not telling you shit in these Christian churches. Okay? Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. Let's get that in Isaiah 8 and 20. Okay? To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So there is no light in these pastors. They don't have the light. Who's the light? Yahawashai is the light. Okay? Yahawah through his son Yahawashai got to be dealing with you okay and the heavenly father is not going to give his, uh, you know his son Yahawashai to just any old person you have to be a chosen soul you have to be of the elect in order to properly break down the 100% unadulterated truth okay and you, you guys get mad but we have the 100% truth okay we have the light we have Yahawashai 
I mean, Lord's will, I do. Lord's will, I have delight. It would be a pleasure and an honor to have, you know, Yahweh Shai, you know, work, working through me to properly teach and break down the Holy Scriptures. Okay? But the point is that, you know, we, we, we have the 100% truth, man. Okay? We're teaching the exact same doctrine that our apostles teach. Starting with Apostle Tahar, Apostle Kabar, and Ap Apostle Ariamlab, <coughs> Apostle Ariamlab, Apostle Rakha, and, and uh, the Apostle uh, um, Manatizah. Okay? Okay? So, so well, we're teaching the 100% correct doctrine. Okay? But these pastors, they don't, they don't have the light. That's why they, you know, that's why the, well, one of the very first verses they bring out in these churches is what? John 3 and 16, for God so loved the world. Not knowing that that's talking about the Israelites. For Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah loved the Israelites. Okay, I read it in uh, Hebrews, uh, the 12th chapter and the 6th verse earlier just now. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. <clears throat> and, and the Lord has only known the nation of Israel. Now, see, is that... I, I believe it's in Isaiah the ninth chapter. Isaiah chapter nine. I don't know if it's nine verse sixteen or. Yup, it is. The water Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai led me right to it. For the leaders of Isaiah nine verse six. Isaiah chapter nine verse sixteen. For the leaders of this people, okay, wouldn't these pastors and preachers uh, be considered leaders of these churches? Okay, for the leaders of this people cause them to error, and they that are led of them are de are destroyed. There you go. Okay, destroyed. Right, because you're not being given the proper understanding. You so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians, you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians, the Hebrew Israelites, you go to these churches, and you come out twice as dead uh, uh, as you already was. Okay, you go to these churches, but you learn absolutely nothing. These pastors and preachers in these different churches, they're not teaching that they're not teaching you to to uh, not not to eat pork. They're not telling you that you're not supposed to commit adultery. They're not telling you that you're not supposed to smoke or do drugs. They're telling you that you're not supposed to be an idol worshiper. You're not supposed to, you know, be following after the customs or, or the ways of these other nations. These pastors and these preachers are not telling you that you're not supposed to, uh, you know, eat unclean foods. According to the book of Leviticus, the 11th chapter. They're not telling you anything. You know, they're telling you come as you are. You could be a mo, a transformer. You no, know, come as you are. God will accept you. Yeah, like hell he will. Okay. <coughs> I tell you what the Lord will accept your your destruction if you don't repent, man. Because the Lord is not dealing with these pastors. Oh, let me get that in the book of Acts. Beautiful. What is that? The book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 48. <coughs> Acts, chapter 7, verse 48. How be it, the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. So the Lord is not in these harlot houses. That's exactly what these churches are. They are harlot houses. Okay? You don't learn nothing there. You just, you don't. The pastor might bring out, what, two or three verses, and, and then y'all get to singing gospel music. Oh, happy day when Jesus walks. Woo! You know, you get to doing a Harlem shake. You, you're on the floor, you know, uh, Acting like you got a Caesar because you think you got the Holy Ghost. Now nah, you you ain't got the Holy Ghost, man. But I tell you what you do got you got you 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 got you got the holy demons on you because those demons be having you niggas go wild in these churches, man. Sometimes I don't even know what the fuck y'all be doing. Sometimes, man, y'all be having me scratching my head like like bruh, what what are you doing? But the Lord, the Lord is not in these these uh, temples, okay? Was not these churches made with physical hands? Furthermore, what did Yahabashai say? Okay.
okay? Real church is when you see the brothers out there on the highways and hedges teaching. All right, man. They want to play stupid, so let's go to Google.com. Go to type in Bible. Bible. Where, where two are more. Yes. Give me the King James Version of it. Okay, so it's Matthew 18, verse uh, 20. King James uh, Version. Okay, uh, Matthew chapter 18, verse 20. Okay, the word church goes back to the Greek ecclesia, which means to call out, which that's where you get Ecclesiastes from. The word Ecclesiastes means church, I believe. Okay, so uh, yeah, the word the word church goes back to the Greek, the Greek ecclesia, which means to call out. Okay, and, and, and according to the Holy Scriptures, where is where are we supposed to call out the prophecies and the breakdowns of the Holy Scriptures? Which which another word for call out is really uh, to preach. Where are we supposed to be uh, preaching the Holy Scriptures on the highways and hedges outside? You know, on the street corners, that's where you're going to find the true prophets and teachers. Okay, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Okay, so that's the real church. When you see brothers, you know, when, when, when you see a brother wearing a Hebrew Israelite garment, you know, they got the street signs out there. You got one brother reading the Bible. You got another brother break, breaking it down. Another brother might ch ch uh, try chime in. Another brother might be holding a, a street sign. You know. Another brother might be standing post, uh, uh, watch, uh, you know, uh, watching, you know, be, 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 be watching out for anybody that might try something funny. Okay. Okay. That's a church. Okay. So the Lord is not in these harlot houses. Lord's will, you brothers, were edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. With that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.